The Development of the Hyperborean Root Race by Dave Marsland of Cardiff Theosophical Society The Hyperboreans were located on a continent near the North Pole comprising the present Northern Asia. The Hyperborean Root Race was the second of seven root races in the current cosmic era or globe. As with the preceding root race, the Polarian, the Hyperboreans' bodies were not physical as we understand it, but were more physical than the Polarians. They moved towards physicality and were able to develop a sense of touch, but never actually became physical. They were coloured a golden yellow, which suggests that although not physical, they would have been visible to us. In The Secret Doctrine, H.P. Blavatsky describes the Hyperboreans thus. They were the second humanity, composed of the most heterogeneous, gigantic, semi-human monsters, the first attempts of material nature at building human bodies. The use of the term heterogeneous suggests that they differed from one another in appearance. At the time of the Hyperboreans, the northern regions were tropical, but this changed and the north became more like the Arctic we now know. The Hyperboreans did not have physical bodies and were not therefore affected by climate. The cooling of the northern regions prevented them from developing physical bodies and they gave way to the next root race, the Lemurians. Hyperboreans were androgynous and in their early stages reproduced by budding. Budding or blastogenesis is a type of asexual reproduction in which a new organism develops from an outgrowth or bud due to cell division at one particular site. For example, the small bulb-like projection coming out from the yeast cell is known as a bud. Since a reproduction is asexual, the newly created organism is a clone and, except in mutations, is genetically identical to the parent organism. Bacteria, yeast, corals, flatworms, jellyfish and sea anemones are some of the animal species which reproduce through budding. Later Hyperboreans are referred to as sweatborn because they reproduced by exuding vital fluid which coalesced into an egg-shaped ball which served as an outside vehicle for a fetus and child. Despite this change in reproduction they remained androgynous.